Okay, today we're gonna do a short video on how to do a manual blood pressure at home. For this, you will obviously need a manual speedometer, which obviously will require two people, both the person having their blood pressure checked and the person checking their blood pressure. If you're doing it on your own, you'll need an automatic blood pressure. Us medical personnel, however, tend to prefer manual blood pressures. We feel that we get a more accurate reading this way rather than automatic blood pressures. Now, sphygmometers are composed of three main parts. There's the cuff, that's the bit that goes around the arm or even the leg in occasions, but by and large, it's always the arm, um, to occlude the brachial artery and to be able to check the blood pressure. Now, this is a standard adult size cuff. As you can see from this diagram, they also come in numerous sizes, all the way down to newborns. You then have the manometer, which uh, pumps air into the blood pressure cuff and a gauge, stop the air escaping, which you release then to let the air escape, and then the actual uh, pressure gauge itself, and then a cord between the uh, manometer and the blood pressure cuff. So when you're checking blood pressure, have the person who's having the blood pressure checked sit down, sitting up, don't have it lying down. It's meant to be measured sitting up. And then the blood pressure cuff has both an inside aspect and an outside aspect. You need to do it on the outside aspect, so where the cord fits into. And this mark here, the artery index mark, is to go over about the middle of the, of the arm, just above the elbow crease. And then you wrap it around firmly, but not too tightly. Now, to know roughly at what level to blow it up to, close the blood pressure, feel the radial pulse, so I can feel the pulse here with my finger, and then pump it up. So I don't think I've closed off the gauge here. Yeah, here we go. Then pump it up until you can no longer feel the radial pulse and then go roughly about 20 above. So I mean, that's gonna be roughly, say 170, 160. And then, Get your stethoscope ready. Use the flat surface tympanic membrane, not the, the bell membrane. Now what you're listening for is the Karakov sounds. That was named after a Russian physician in St. Petersburg and he named them in 1905. Now there are five sounds. Now when you're listening to the brachial artery on its own, when it's not being occluded, you can't hear anything because it's just flying normally and you can't hear anything. However, when the pressure goes up, and it totally includes the brachial, uh, occlude, sorry, blocks off the brachial artery, they also can't hear anything. As you're slowly releasing the pressure, there will come a point when the pressure's low enough that when the heart's pumping, so what's called the systolic blood pressure, a little bit of blood will escape through the blood vessel and you'll hear this whooshing sound. And then as the pressure drops, the whooshing will get louder and louder until finally it gets to the point where the blood is flowing unimpeded again, and that's called the fifth Korotkov sound, and, you, and the whooshing stops because the blood is just flowing normally. So the top number where you start to hear the blood whooshing is the systolic blood pressure. The bottom number where you no longer hear whooshing is the diastolic number. So, pump up now. Okay, so I've pumped it up to 180, and then I'm just Releasing this valve very slowly, let it drop down by about two millimeters of mercury every second. Now, started to hear a sound at 120, so that's the systolic blood pressure, that's the first coracop sound. And then it stopped at one at, at 80, which is actually an absolute stock standard blood pressure, 120 on 80. Then you should always just check it twice because it can vary, just to make sure your first one is accurate. and that time was even a bit lower. That was about 114 on 80. Okay, and then you release the, the air. Take off the step, unwrap that. So a blood pressure of 114 on 80 in pregnancy is a very good, healthy blood pressure.